All right, guys, we're back in the shop tonight. Um, we're working on my buddy 034 that I uh, put the new cylinder on and got ported and all that happy horse stuff. So we got a bar stud that is uh, stripped out. So it was when we had the nut on there, couldn't take the couldn't take the nut out because it was stripped inside the case so so I got it drilled and now I'm just tapping it out and I will uh, put a helicoil in it steel does make oversized oversized studs I guess but I talked to the guys at the dealership and they thought that it's better to put a helicoil in it so so that's what I'm gonna do um, I will I will use uh, bearing mount green Loctite with primer when I put the helicoil in there, so it should uh, it should be stuck and never come out. So, but uh, I will shut the video off for now. But we will finish tapping this hole out, and then I'll bring you back and maybe let you watch me set the helicoil in there. Okay, so I decided. I'm not going to put the green Loctite in there yet. I'm going to set this helicoil and then I will green Loctite the stud into the helicoil. And some of it will probably absorb through so it will it'll never come out. And yes, I know there is a tool to screw these in and the tap that I was using earlier but they're out in my service truck for my full-time job and I didn't want to go out and get them so we got that in there it's not necessary but I always bend that tab over on the bottom of that helicoil after I set it I think it broke off inside the tank, so I'll get that out of there later. Let's see. Let me set that stud up so we can put that in there. for the Loctite. If you don't do both, it won't, won't actually work like you want it to. Spray a little primer on there, spray a little primer in the hole. Let that sit for a little couple minutes here. I think you're actually supposed to wait five minutes, but you don't gotta wait that long. set up so we can get it screwed in there I'm just using a just using a double nut nothing fancy
this stuff does set up fairly quickly, not so quick that you can't get it done, but you don't want to waste too much time. I'm not going to get too carried away with that. That bearing mount will hold it, I guarantee it. I'm just taking these off in case I got any tight or anything on them. I don't want them stuck on there. So. And now we wait, so that's how I fix the studs on a, well, any steel saw really, except for a plastic case one, they gotta go about them a little different way, but this is a magnesium case, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching.